Alright, so now that I got the chuck, I desperately need a set of coal jaws so I can be turning the bottom foot of a bowl. So I'm going to make it out of this old piece of countertop that I have been saving for years because I know it's going to do something with this nice plastic laminate. So, let's get started. So now I have a perfectly square piece of wood and I've drawn from corner to corner so that way I could get the exact center of this. So I've taken the I've taken the pin or I've taken the jaws off of the uh, off of my Nova 2 chuck and I've marked the holes where I'm gonna need to drill these on because these are going to replace this piece is going to replace these on the lathe. And I left it square so that way I can still use the table saw to cut it in half. So that's where I'm at right now. So the next thing to do is to mark out the radiuses. Alright, so now I gotta mark a 45 degree angle and then I have to do 22 and a half degrees. So, if you remember back to elementary school or high school or whenever you took trigonometry or geometry, um, you'll know how to mark it out, how to get a perfect 45 degree angle and 22 and a half degree angle off of, but just by using a compass. So, here we go. rows of 22 and a half degrees coming out so I've got the 90 these are where the rubber is gonna be the stops for the cold jaws that's where the that's what's gonna go in and out that replaces the jaws on the other one so now I have to mark out I'm gonna just pick one of these and mark out one inch because I want these things one inch on center after here so then I can go from there so That'll be next. lines intersects on the 22 and a half degree angles. Now I have to drill, I have to countersink these so that way these are flush uh, when I put these in on each one of the, the dots where these cross. So that's what I'm going to do now using a Forstner bit to uh, countersink these. So here we go.
right, so now, now I can drill out all the way through. So now that I've got all these countersunk. these cut out and drilled out the outside drilled still have not cut it here realized that uh, I was gonna use my tabletop for that but uh, I guess I'm gonna be doing it with the bandsaw so anyway got all these t-nuts all of these t-nuts are gonna be getting put in to every one of these 56 holes uh, for these and I'm gonna do that before I cut that out because it's gonna be easier um, to pound these into the hole, but also I'm going to be using five minute epoxy to put that in to put them in there just to make sure they hold tight and there's not going to be any movement and so that they don't pull out either because they're going to be going down into it. It's not going to be that much, you know, torque on them, but I just don't want them to move. So I'm going to be using epoxy. So mix up some epoxy here and uh, start gluing these things in. up too much set up on me dang it all right well it's a good thing I bought a new one all right mix up a smaller batch this time we don't happen all right smaller batch this, this time literally smaller I got a lot of these to do. Things sanded down and they're all in pieces now. Got a rubber band just so I could keep holding them. Each one is labeled so that way I know how to line them. Line them back up uh, when I put them on the chuck. So the next part of this, um, this is all smooth, and the next part of this is to actually drill holes through the rubber bumpers, which I got here got these rubber bumpers which are gonna 
go onto these on each one of these so I can label it. But I have to drill an exact hole right through the middle of these. Um, and I have a bolt that will be going through into these. So, that's the next step, is to drill a hole in these and get them exactly centered. So, should be able to do it. And then, we'll put a layer of felt on here, and then should be ready to go. Well, I hope this works. hole right through the center. Nice. It's exactly what I want. That should be perfect for this to fit right through the middle. So the bolts that will be going through. Nice. Perfect. Alright, so now I got all the holes drilled out. This is a, I need to get screwed through but put all these through. go down all the way but just getting these on here man it's a tight fit it's a perfect fit it's a tight fit it's a perfect fit that's what I say same way with doing joinery especially dovetails you always want tight fits I don't want anything loose These should be perfect to hold the face of a bowl. Right at the rim, should be perfect. So next step is to put this on the lathe, check these, check these pieces on, it's the next step. Make sure it all fits, because I haven't checked it yet. Just kind of assuming that my measurements are all correct and perfect. Quit the assumption. But if my math is correct, then um, these should work out perfectly. So these go all the way in. I think I bought these bolts too tight or too long. Yep, way too long. So these I just want to be finger tight. I do not want to use a wrench on these because if you use a wrench on these, then as soon as you tighten it down this rubber is going to squeeze out the rubber will will bulge out if you tighten these down too much and then that just kind of defeats the purpose of having the of having the, the the cut see the fat part of these stops is on the top and the skinny part is on the bottom so that way it gives it a little bit of an angle not too much of an angle but a little bit of one i'm going to have to cut those bolts off but these should work out nice. I may want to get a screw gun bit for this. This is going to take a while. I'm going to have to change these out all the time. I'll find a bit that fits the screw gun. I might go much faster. And then as soon as I figure out that this works correctly, like it should, then I'll put some felt on here so that way the, the bowl, um, that way I'm not dinging up the rim of the bowl. Um, I don't want to get any scratches on a bowl, so um, I'll put some felt on here or something. Just something to put a little space. Maybe some strips. I don't think I'll cover the whole thing because then I'll have to cut out the holes for the tea, where the tea nuts are. And I don't want to do that because, I don't know, I just don't think that would be very fun. So, anyway, this is, project is almost done. Can't wait to try this out. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get a screw gun for this. Make this go faster. This is super slow. I'm sure about shorter, shorter screws here, bolts. But having them longer is really good, actually. All right, now I can put these on the lathe. Okay, so I just put these on here. This is on. I'm going to tighten it up. Um, tighten this up and see where I'm at here. 
somehow, and I don't even know how it's possible, but somehow these got off a little bit. But I think when I tighten them up, should be flush. So, there we go. Yeah, it's nice and flush. Okay. It's better. Now, these on here, this should work. Nice. Alright, so, next step. Works out pretty good. Open these back up here. See, this replaces the mortise and tenon jaws that are on there. So, now, this bowl, I never finished the bottom of it because I needed these, and I didn't want to use a chisel, I want to use a lathe. So, I can fit the bowl in here. It fits in there just right. Now, tighten it up. the heck out of me because I spent so much time making this bowl so now should be able to put the tool rest up here and finish off the bottom of the bowl yeah it scares the heck out of me to turn this on but let me see see what happens Absolutely perfect. So now I can finish off the bottom of the bowl. And uh, I should be just right. And uh, now, I gotta, now I got a set of cold jaws. This will be nice. Now I can do a, do a lot more uh, woodworking now by finishing off bowls. There's a little bit of a hop in it. I'm gonna have to figure out where that is and why that is. So it might just be a little adjustment. I may not have calibrated these correctly when I put them in, so I'll have to figure that out. That's this go on the outside, but I will figure that out. And uh, other than that, this works great. This works really nice.